Assalamu alaikum, my name is Zura Hilal and my roll number is BB1650245. My class is 5th Prof. Morning. The topic of my presentation is lithium carbonate and its case study. Lithium carbonate. Lithium carbonate is a salt of lithium which is highly effective for managing bipolar patients. It's also effective in treating 60 to 80% of patients exhibiting mania and hypomania. We read when it comes to its toxicity and side effects, the therapeutic window of lithium is very narrow and salts could be toxic too. Adverse effects include headache, dry mouth, GI disturbances, dizziness, and high plasma levels may lead to tremors, confusions, convulsions, etc. It also has serotonin effect. When it comes to contraindications, unlike other mood stabilizers, it is renally eliminated. That's why it should be used carefully when given to renally impaired patients. It also can cause drug-related hypothyroidism, so thyroid tests should be done first before prescribing them. When it comes to dosage forms, it is only available in the oral dosage forms. And in the dosage form, there are tablet solutions as well as capsules. But the molds that are used are tablet and solutions. And in Pakistan, only the tablet forms are available, not the solution forms. Now we have come to the drug interactions. When we talk about the drug, drug interaction, there are three types of drug interactions. One, which increase the level of lithium, one which decrease the level of lithium, and the third one, which interact with lithium to cause different uh, side effects to the body. I have, class, I have uh, selected the three different type of drug interactions. Number one are NSAIDs. Many NSAIDs have been reported to increase lithium levels as much as 50 to 60 percent. This probably is due to the enhanced reabsorption of sodium and lithium, secondary to inhibition of prostaglandin synthesis. Next is sodium. High dietary sodium intake promotes the renal clearance of lithium, thus decreasing the levels of lithium into the body. Number third one is carbamazepine. Carbamazepine is a drug alternative to lithium. So it can be given instead of lithium, but when it is given with lithium, it can cause neurotoxicity, which is very dangerous for the patient. Now we have come to different type of brands that are available for lithium. I have selected the three different brands which are highly popular in Pakistan and can be found. Number one is the Neurolith SR tablet, which is formed by Adanji Pharmaceuticals Private Limited. Number second one is the Carlet tablet, which is produced by Midera Pharmaceuticals Private Limited. And the third one is Lytham CR tablet, which is produced by Medicates Pakistan Private Limited. As you can see, the first one is available in 200 and 400 mg tablet, whereas the other two ones are only available in 400 mg tablets. The price of the first one is rather greater than the other two one. The price of the Neuralith one is 489 rupees. Carlet one is 215 rupees. And Lytham one is 214 rupees. Although the Neuralith SR tablet is expensive as compared to the other two ones, it is easily available and very functional. That's why it's the tablet which is mostly used in Pakistan. Now the dosage ad adjustments according to different age groups. Adults over 18 years initially 400 mg da daily as a single dose at night is given. For elderly over 65 years initially 200 mg daily as a single dose at night. It is not recommended in children. In, elder, in adults and elderly, after a uh, dose adjustment after a week, then for four weeks and every three months thereafter. Lithium can be given in the combined form, in the combined form as well. That is, it can be given with valproate and AAPs. But it should be keep in mind that it should not be given with such drugs which interact with this and cause different side effects. Next, we have come to the uses. When we come to the uses, they could be rational or irrational uses. First, let's see the rational uses. Lithium carbonate is effective in preventing episodic and chronic cluster headache. It continues to be used as a treatment for bipolar disorders. Although other uh, uh, valproic acid and carbamazepine are also effective, but in maintenance therapy, it can cause it it can cause uh, lesser into the anti-suicidal effects rather than the other medicines. Whereas when we come to irrational use, in irrational use, the things that are included in irrational use are 
that the pharmacist is prescribing the wrong medicine or the person or the people are taking the medicine overdose by themselves. That could be very toxic. Lithium carbonate can be prescribed for bipolar depressive disorders, but it is not the complete cure. The drug therapeutic window is very narrow. That is, the toxic dose is only two to three times higher than the therapeutic dose. That's why patients who take lithium also need to have iron, iron monitored in their blood to make sure it's below toxic levels. And the toxicity could lead to many different problems like thyroid problems, renal problems, weight, uh, weight gain, and many, many more. Whereas when it comes to the drug alternatives, there are different types of drug alternatives which can be given instead of car uh, lithium carbonate if the person is showing lithium refractory towards the uh, uh, lithium maintenance, lithium therapy, or uh, it is showing a side effects towards the person. We could give valproic acid. Valproic acid has anti-maniac effect equivalent to those of lithium and is now widely used for this indication, often as a first choice in acute illness as well. Number second are the anti seizure drugs. Anti seizure drugs are carbamazepine and lamotrigine. They are also used in acu acute mania and for prof prophylaxis in the depressive phase. Third and the last one are the atypical antipsychotic drugs. Atypical antipsychotic drugs, just such as olanzapine and risperidone, can also be given if valproic fails. Next, we come to the antidotes. For gastric disturbances, we can give activated charcoal. For hypertensive episodes, IV, 0.9% NACL or dopamine can be given. Whereas for enhanced elimination, 0.9% NACL, 10 to 20 ml per kg bolus for maintenance of fluid rates. Another option can be hemodialysis if there is severe exposure. Now, we have come to the case study. What does a case study say? The patient, Mr. X, 53-year-old male, presented to OPD with loose stool for last two days, nausea, loss of energy, and fatigue. Known patient of bipolar disorder and under treatment for psychiatry on lithium carbonate. The pulse is 108. These are the vitals that, can, that are given into the question, like pulse, PP, dehydrated, CNS, CVS, everything is mentioned over here. And, and the, F, uh, the reports says that FBC was normal, CUPS was normal, F LFT was normal, CRP was 60, lithium level was very much increased. That is 3.17 millimole per liter. So how will we manage the patient? Let's see. We have to prepare the soap notes. What is our subjective? In subjective, we mentioned the age of the patient, gender, history, and the complaint. That is, presented to OPD with loose tool for last two days, nausea, loss of energy, and fatigue. What would be our objective? Objective and objective, we write all the things that we have checked and all the reports that are mentioned. These are the lab results, and these are the things that we have uh, uh, seen of the patient. Next comes the assessment. What does our assessment say? We have concluded that the person is suffering from lithium toxicity due to ingestment of the overdose. And what does the plan say? First, the person should be admitted into the ward. Lithium should be stopped immediately. And for decreasing the to toxicity of lithium, IV fluids like 0.9% NACL should be used and maintained. The patient also requires supportive care and monitoring from time to time for his vitals and improvement in his health. Lithium levels should be continued for four days in 0.68 mm, mm, uh, millimole per liter. That is the moderate dose, which would not cause the mood relapse or any side effects. As the patient has taken lithium as an intentional overdose, that's why psychiatric clearance before discharge is very necessary. The person should be psychiatric, uh, psychiatrically uh, uh, A person should be psychiatri psychiatrically cleared so that this could not happen again and the person is satisfied and is healthy when going from the hospital. 
these are the references that are that i use in my presentation in my assignment that is kedzen koda kimbel lipincourt rxlist.com for the toxicity and the things that i didn't find and to do it also find over here medicalstore.com.pk it tell it told me about the brands of the lithium carbonate and pubmed don nic ni ncbi nlm nih dot government that uh, this was the place from where i got my case study from thank you